I want to tell you as a little story. It's going to take a bit of time, so I'll ho hopefully you get the patience for it. All right, it's, a, it's an important story. I think um, I want to tell you all. It's about the uh, the planes and the Serengeti, the Pride Lands, and all. The, it's like hundreds of lions on this thing, but there's one lion who's b bigger than all the other lions. Right? He's the king, and every now and again, the king will roar to remind you why you need him, why you fear him, why he's the fucking king. Right? And one day he's just laying there, he's not doing anything. And the, like the queen, basically, one of the females comes over, starts nipping his ear, <laughs> trying to. <laughs> <laughs> Gobbin do shopping. <laughs> Some starts nipping at his ear, pulling on his tail, trying to get him to get up. And the king doesn't do anything. All the little fucking beta male lions, they like, the, the, they see this and they see it as a sign of weakness. And they're like, Maybe the king's slipping. Maybe it's time for a new king. I want to be king. <laughs> so they start pulling at his tail, and the king doesn't do anything. On the hills, hyenas start to gather because they've heard the king's slipping. Maybe it's time to take over the fucking pry lands. What do you reckon, boys? <laughs> and all the females retreat with the cubs to a distance of safety, you know? But the numbers start getting more and more, and the other lions start fucking backing off as well. There's quite a few of these boys, huh? but the king doesn't do anything. Eventually the hyenas come down and even the beta males, they all fucking just get out of there, man. It's just hyenas and the king and he doesn't do anything until the first hyena is brave enough and puts his teeth on the fucking lion and he goes mental, slashes the belly of this thing. It's just laying there trying to fucking run away and he runs up, he jumps and grabs another one, rips his fucking throat out. The beta males, they all see this, they get inspired by it, they start charging and all the hyenas are getting fucked up and all the dust and blood and when everything settles and hyenas are all chased off, never to come back again, the king roars and they all bow because sometimes the king has to roar to remind you why you need him, why you fear him, why he's the fucking king. And that's exactly why I hit my kids. Because, <laughs> I'll be honest, oh no, fuck him, like, oh, daddy! Daddy, I can't do it! Daddy, I'm only four! Rah! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Goofy motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Ha ha ha.